The challenge for students learning about electricity comes in understanding the difference between the real-life circuit itself and the representation of that circuit by a schematic. In this simulation, we present both side by side so you can have a look at what is meant by a schematic. Here we have a dollhouse that has been wired to a small battery. You'll notice that as you adjust the potential, the type of battery changes. AAA batteries are typically made of single 1.5 volt cells, and a 9 volt battery consists of six of these cells packaged together. The battery is attached to a master switch. You can see the master switch both on the dollhouse and also in the schematic diagram. Without this master switch closed, no current can flow in the circuit. This switch is equivalent to the circuit breaker your house has for protection. When this switch is open, your house isn't going to have any electric power. When we close the switch, nothing happens. That's because each of the lights in our dollhouse also has a switch, and all these switches are open. Let's close one. We can see that the light turns on. We also see in our schematic that current is flowing through one of the parallel branches in our circuit. We can show the amount of power dissipated in watts, as well as the amount of current flowing in amps, by selecting these options from the menu to the right of the diagram. We can also show the potentials of each of the wires in the circuit, measured in volts. We are showing conventional current, the direction of positive current flow, in this schematic. We can also show the direction of electron flow, which is the reverse. Of course, the electrons themselves are actually moving quite chaotically in the circuit, thanks to their random thermal motions due to the system being at room temperature. The drift of electrons through the circuit is hinted at here, but remember that this is just a model and a crude one at that. The graph at top right shows us the electric potential provided by the battery measured in volts on the vertical axis, and the total current output of the battery measured in amps on the horizontal axis. The linear relationship between these is known as Ohm's law. Watch what happens when we turn on a second light. The electric potential stays the same, but the amount of current flowing out of the battery increases. Batteries provide whatever current is required, up to some limit of course, in order to maintain a constant electric potential. If I change out a light bulb for a fan, the current it draws is much less. This means that the fan has a much higher electrical resistance than a light bulb. The battery now has to provide enough current for one light bulb and one fan, which is less than if it had to provide enough current for two light bulbs. This means the total current draw is less, and the total resistance of the system is higher. An open circuit can be thought of as having infinite resistance and no current draw. This is equivalent to just an open plug. Nothing has been plugged in yet. Thanks for watching.